In this lesson, we will discuss how to prepare a carousel for bulletin creation. It's a good idea to write down on paper how you want to use carousel and what you want from your zone layout. So first, let's get the resolution of our monitor we're going to use. In carousel language, we refer to our monitor as being the channel output. For the purposes of this video, we will use the 1280 by 720 resolution for our channel output. Drawing it out on paper can be very helpful. Now that we have our screen resolution, let's figure out what to do with our zone layout. My first zone will be a 16 by 9 aspect ratio in case I want to upload widescreen videos. My second will be 4 by 3 in case I want standard video. My third will fill the bottom half of the screen but ending just before my fourth narrow zone for weather data. Now that we've mapped out and labeled our zones on paper, let's log into front door and head to carousel. Click on the configure button and go to zones. Click add new zone. Name it, select bulletin, then click add. Tags are useful for identifying your zones. Think of them as keywords. We might use our first zone for displaying community bulletins, so it might be appropriate to apply the following tags, community, bulletin, information, and public. We'll copy the resolution from our sketch, which is 640 by 360. Now we'll hit save and repeat for our other zones, applying its resolution and relevant tags. We'll also want to create a full alert bulletin which will override our zone layout with full screen emergency bulletins. Click add new zone, name it, select full alert, then add. Since this will be our full screen alert zone, we'll make our resolution the same as our channel output which is 1280 by 720. You can tag it with something like emergency and information. The last zone we'll create is the crawl zone. Click Add New Zone, name it, and select Crawl from the Zone Type pull-down menu. If you want to tag the crawl zone, select some tags from the window or add a new one. And description is optional and is mostly used if you're creating multiple crawl zones. Then hit Save. 